I just want to talk about my experience at FedEx. And basically, I got there. They put me with a driver on lifting some packages in the morning. You got to load up the truck. And my back got taxed just from loading up the truck. Now, our area that we deliver is about 30 minutes away. So after we loaded up the truck, my back was able to recover. And we get there. And guys are speeding around. And you almost can't blame them. Because FedEx gives you ungodly amount of packages. Real heavy ones. You have to pick up stuff outside of FedEx. From other stops, you're picking up packages. And guys have to hustle speed if they want to get home at a reasonable time. We get we get back to the shop 5.30. I'm, I'm back around 6.30. 6.30. That's a long day, 8 to 6.30, you know. Or 8 to... You know, it was 8 to... But by the time you get home... 30 minute ride home. Alright, my back is taxed. My back is tired. I go the next day. And... This guy doesn't go as fast, but he, he's pretty fast. And he wants to get home. Um, We get to a stop, a pickup stop, where we got to pick up packages... And, bro, there was three pallets of light packages, not even that heavy. And I get about to the second pallet, and my back is shot. My back is pumped. Not able to bend over. Like, oh, just grab the light envelopes. I couldn't bend over to grab the light envelopes. That's how bad it was. Get to the end of the day, I'm barely walking, and... In my mind, I'm like, oh, my my gut was like, you better call out tomorrow, man. You're not going to make it. Your back is gone. But, dude, the manager texts me, and this manager's on a crutch. He's like, oh, you're with me tomorrow. I'm like, dude, my back is gone. My, bra- my back is gone. My back is taxed. I'm just letting you know we're both crippled, you know. He never even texted me back. I don't think he even took it serious. I, I, I you, you know what? I, I woke up. You know, your back feels good when you, you feel fresh when you woke up in the morning. I get there. Start walking. And I forgot my wallet. I walk back out to the car to get my wallet. And I, I forgot if it was on the way to get my wallet or it was definitely on my way or on the way back to go inside. My back, it felt like I lifted the pallets again. Like it, it my back, I was struggling to walk. So if a person is struggling to walk, how are they going to lift packages all day? But I'm like, you know what, maybe, maybe, you know, I'm a beginner, I'm in training. Maybe they'll just let me observe, let me have an easy day, or maybe they'll let me go home, you know. So I, I keep rocking, I keep rolling, and I, I limp in there, I sit down, let my back recover, call the guy, tell him I'm in the front sitting on the bench. It's a big place, you know. And he gets there, he's like, oh, I'm going to put you with somebody, it'll be easy, it'll be a quick day, you know. All right, great, great, great. I get to the guy. I'm like, hey, man, I just, and I, I was limping to the guy. I was limping again. I said, hey, man, you know, I, I know I'm with you today, but my back is shot. I'm not going to be able to do much, man. Maybe a couple light packages. And he goes, oh, my leg is gone. You, you better go tell the boss, man. I'm like, oh, here we go. I go tell the boss, he's like, oh, what's it going to be? You going home or what, what are you going to do? You can't can't work today. I'm like, if I can't walk, how am I going to lift these packages? He's like, oh, well, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you got to work through the pain. I'm like, I don't know. I don't think I could do it. Like, it's not a matter of, like, 
certain pain you can work through. But if I can't bend over and I can't walk, what good am I? Well, you better fight through the pain. If you go home, I'm just going to let you go or whatever. Like, you can't just give me, like, an easy day, a day off or whatever. No, no, I'm going to let you go. And, you know, between the long hours and everything and, and just the slave labor that people are um, living, the way they're living to get the package done, I was like, you know what, man? This isn't for me, man. You have no mercy. You couldn't give my back a day off. Let it come back stronger tomorrow for Thursday. So I, I go home. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm going to look for another job. I'm not worried. But yeah, man, it, it seems like almost abusive. I mean, I know it's the Christmas season and everything. But, man. And, just, I don't know. It, they got people that load the truck, but, like, they don't do a good job. So, you got to basically load the truck in the morning. And it's like, you know, I, I've heard rumors that Amazon, they... They got you loaded in the morning. So, you just get up and go with Amazon. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's true. I also heard the, the packages are lighter. They pay you by the hour. So, in FedEx, if you don't, you get your your um, packages done, you get paid a certain amount for the amount of packages you do. And if it takes you till 9 o'clock, you still get paid the same amount. And Amazon, you got to get a certain amount of packages done an hour. But you get paid by the hour. But you got to understand, Amazon's packages are lighter. And you're not in a big, super big FedEx truck. You're in a cargo van or whatever you want to call it. And people were just talking about Amazon. And thinking that Amazon's just an overall better gig than FedEx. And so I went home. I kept my head up. And I applied to a bunch of different places, including Amazon. And I got I, I just left my Amazon interview. So I mean I guess some people like FedEx. I I really don't you know you gotta be in really good shape when you go in there, especially your low back and everything. And um I don't know man, I always had trouble with my low back. So I was like, you know what? I figured I'm going to try Amazon for now. And another good thing about Amazon, sometimes you only work like four 10-hour days. You can get a three-day weekend. But, I mean, if you work five 10-hour days, you, you, you know, that's a possibility too. You know, but... It sucks, but it's like not going to suck as bad as FedEx five, ten hour days. And they're hustling around in a big FedEx truck. You know, I'm hustling in a little van. You know what I'm saying? It's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. It's, I'll take the little van any day. And, you know, if I don't like Amazon, then I'm going to eventually try to find something I do like, you know, just keep going. You don't want to be doing what you hate your whole life, you know. 
even if they give you a bad shift or whatever, look for a better shift. 